far, each of our magical minutes for payment being required in your parent portal have concentrated solely on the side of the database. So let's have a quick look, everybody, and let's just see what it looks like for your parents and how all of those settings come into play. So to save us some time, I have already gone in and I have got three things already in my shopping cart. So you can see that right here. So I did not check out, but let's just look at how easy it is to put somebody in. So I'm going to click on find a class and I'm going to come just to this very first class here. So you will see that I do have a child already in this class, but I know that Spencer is not in there. So I'm going to check that click on add and then you can see it's added to the cart and I'm going to say that I want to check out now. So it's going to come here. It's going to calculate everything based on all of my settings. The very first thing you will see pop up is that I do have a student with a student fixed fee and it lets me know that those fees are not going to post. Therefore, they, nothing will be processed. So I'm just going to click OK on that. So now let's have a look at all of the different things that I have enrolled in. So I put Spencer in this advanced cheer class with a fee of $70. I've enrolled my family into the birthday party, but remember the birthday party, I clicked that I wanted to omit that fee. So you can see zeros due now, payment for this event will be required later. So it doesn't mean they're getting it for free. I've also enrolled Spencer into my May master class. So that does have a fee of $50 and I did not check to omit that fee. And then you can see here, it just gives me my complete breakdown of my subtotal for all of these. And then I do have my discounting and prorating turned on. So that is right there. If I wanted more information, just to let you know, you could come right here as well. So all I need to do is just come here, click on next to process my payment. So just to let you know, my family did not have a current balance. Even if they did, if they had a balance of $1,000, it's only going to be requiring that I pay for what is in my shopping cart currently. So I can see right here, my payment method. I just click on that, shows it there. If I wanted to, I could add that one-time card right here by clicking on add new, make my payment and confirm. And then you can see, so a nice little pop-up comes, lets me know that my payment has been posted and my transaction ID as well. And then it lets me know that my email has been sent. And then they also get this nice enrollment summary page. So thank you for enrolling. And then it just gives a breakdown of everything that was processed right now. And then it also lets me know that Elliot was enrolled in this class, but that Elliot does have a fixed fee. And that's it for this parent portal enhancement, everyone.